Hey everybody, welcome to the Working Girl channel and thank you so much for watching. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you guys with me on my very first solo trip. I'm going to Lisbon, Portugal for an entire week and honestly, this morning, my nerves have just been all over the place. I'm feeling nervous, I'm excited, I'm anxious and I just spent the whole morning just praying that God protect me while I'm on this journey and I prayed for my pilot and I prayed that I just make it back safely in one piece. So I'm so excited to go ahead and get going. I'm heading to the airport right now. So I guess I will see you guys in Lisbon. Lisbon and I got checked into my hotel and this is what it looks like I have the orange theme room and the king size bed I love it it's a lot of space in here so here's a view from the other side there's tons of mirrors in this room so this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. And then right out here on the balcony, um, this hotel does light shows every evening. And so you just have to come out and look at your balcony and see all the beautiful um, lights they got out here. There's also dinner in the evenings, which is really pretty. Um, but yeah, I'm loving all these lights going on in here. And then here's my bathroom. A toilet sink and here is my shower so yes this is my room for the week I'm so excited and I'm ready to explore so I actually wanted to get on here and talk about um the challenges of the first night of solo traveling. You know, that first night of anxiety really hits when you, you're in your hotel room and you just look up and you're by yourself in another country. And I, I don't know, it just really triggered me. Um, so I was very overwhelmed, I cried a bit. Um, I ended up calling my sister. She gave me some words of encouragement and she sent me a scripture actually, which did help now my trip is like starting up again I'm feeling good I got so much planned well not not really too much I had a walking tour plan that I ended up missing I slept through it um, I'm gonna go out to this restaurant and I have a boat tour which I'm so excited for um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a move on and do that um, like I said I'm feeling re-energized and I'm here to explore I'm here to learn more about myself and just find a new love of a different culture. And I'm hoping this will be just a great experience. So like I mentioned, it's a lot of walking. My God, it is so much walking, but 
I have these cute little walking sandals. These are so good for these heels, you guys. And I got these like flowy, well not flowy, but loose fitting kind of like capri pants. They're very airy and just a crop because it's hot. It's 80 degrees today. So, you yeah, know, I think it's something cute for the boat. Very simple, but you know. Okay, no Portuguese, so hi, would about to speak English? Can you please raise your hand? English? Okay. Il a de personnes qui parlent français aussi? Good morning guys, uh, it is the next day Thursday and today I am going to Centra. I am so excited. Um, it's about a 45 minute train ride from Lisbon um, but I'm going to go ahead and see all the palaces, see the gardens. I'm so excited and so ready. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready. I need to hurry up and catch my train. My um, reservation to see the palaces is at 12, I believe, and it is 1030. So I want to get a move on. I want to get to the train early um, just in case I get lost or anything like that. Oh, let me show you guys my outfit. Um, so this is the fit for today. Uh, it is just a pink athletic like onesie type of thing. I got it from Old Navy. I thought it was like a cute thing to trek around in. Um, but yeah, that's it. Of course, we got our comfortable shoes on. And yeah, I am ready to go see the palaces. So I will see you guys once I get there.
guys so sorry for the bumpy footage i'm like hiking through this garden it's a lot of steps it's a lot of hills but it is so freaking gorgeous you guys i am so excited to be here oh my goodness it is so pretty let me show you where i am Hey guys, so I'm hanging out in like the Baisha district area. I got myself something to eat. Um, I went with the shrimp linguine. It's not bad. I think it could be a little bit more flavorful, but it's kind of late, so I just had to get what I could get. Um, but it's a beautiful night, and it's very warm and lively sorry if you can't hear me it's really loud down here but it was a good day today i'm still exhausted from centra to be honest but yeah just wanted to check in before i close out the night I think after this, I'm going to get some dessert and call it a day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. See you later, bye. <laughs> I got the tiramisu and vanilla cone. It's so good. Um, but it's getting kind of late and I'm gonna have to catch the bus. So I think I'm gonna finish this and head on home. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy Friday guys. Today is day four in Lisbon and today is going to be more of like a chill day uh i think i'm gonna go by the water um and just have some lunch i'm gonna bring my book and my music and i'm gonna just vibe out by myself today it's gonna be a very relaxing friday um this evening i'm gonna go see a couple views like just like an overlook of the city um but that's pretty much it that's all i have planned today my plan fell through um this evening i was supposed to go to this dance class um but there was like an issue with the registration and then like the ca the class was just like oversold so i guess i'll just have to figure out what to do tonight but um yeah it's gonna be a nice relaxing vibe for this part of the trip this is it um so i got my walking sandals on i got my dress you guys, it's been like over 80 degrees every day here. So I needed something nice and airy to walk around in. But I'll see you guys at lunch and we'll see what I do tonight.
Okay, so I headed to the water, that restaurant, but they didn't have that much like food to eat. It's really just for like drinks and just chilling by the water. So I think I'm gonna eat at one of the restaurants like on that, um, like on that main strip and then come back for drinks um, on the water. So we are headed to find me. I think I'm in the mood for like a pizza or something like that. So we shall see. Vanilla cone. Oh my god, I love. I had to get this on the way. So, you know how everybody is always raving about the pastel de natas and how they're just the greatest thing? I'm gonna have to disagree. It's this gelato here. This is my second time getting the tiramisu gelato. This time I added um, chocolate and vanilla and it just made it 10 times even better. It's the gelato. Get the gelato here. Skip the pastel donatas. <laughs> the pastel donatas are good, but you know, I think the gelato is underrated. Um, but yeah. <laughs> 